In this video, I'll show you how to create a simple UI in Unity using Text Mesh Pro Text, input field, and a button, and how to write the code to link them together. And also, if you already know how to create the UI elements and want to jump right to the code, I'll put the link in the description as well. So to get started, I have an empty 2D core Unity project, and I'm going to go ahead and create the UI elements. So in the hierarchy, I'm going to click on the plus sign, UI, and Text Text Mesh Pro. Now, since this is the first Text Mesh Pro item I'm adding to my project, I need to import the TMP Essentials. It comes up with a pop-up box, so I can just click on that button. And when it's done importing, I can dismiss this box. I also need to import the input field, so I'm do the same thing, plus UI Input Field Text Mesh Pro, and plus UI button text mesh pro. Okay, now it's going to look a little weird to begin with because it's putting those items on the canvas, not where the camera is viewing. So um, what we need to do is position those and take a peek at the canvas. So an easy way to actually see the items is let's double click on canvas. And typically, if I wheel moused out, I'd be able to see the canvas border. But for some reason, in this latest install of Unity, it's not doing that for me. I noticed that if I hit play, and then I stopped it, it seemed to do the trick. So I'm going to go ahead and go back into Canvas, double click on that, and now we see the border of the canvas. So I don't know if that's just a quirk with this particular version, but if you're not seeing the border, that's kind of what's going on, or at least a way to fix it. All right, so I'm going to wheel mouse in, and what we're seeing is the canvas edge. And that would be overlaying the entire screen, because that's how I have the setting over in the inspector. Now, if you've got a 3D project and you're adding a UI, an easy way to work with things is to click on this 2D button up top. It will switch the view into a 2D mode instead of seeing like this floating canvas in the air. And when you're done, you can uncheck it and go back into 3D. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and, and position these elements. So how about I'll take my button. And I will go to my Move tool. I'm going to move my button to um, maybe about the middle. Let's move the text, which I'm actually going to change. I'll move that to the bottom. And the input field, I'm going to grab that and move it here. So it's kind of in the center. I'm not really focusing on layout right now. I'll be focusing more on code. The other thing I can do is name these so it's easier to know what's going on in the code. So instead of just text or input field or button, then I could change this, let's say, to, I could double click and change this, let's say, to output. So that'd be like the display. And the input field um, is your name entry. And the button I'll just leave is the button. Now I can change what is said on the button by clicking on this little triangle on the side and click on text. And over in the inspector, I can change what the button says. So here, I could, instead of button, I could say, click me. Now, the properties of any of these items can be changed over in the inspector, like font size and color and things like that. Or let's say I'm going to change the display box to be a little larger. I'm going to grab that so it will hold more text, and I'm going to change the alignment to center. So when things are basically set up, I can then move on to the code. So in the assets, I'm going to right click and say create C sharp script. And I can name this whatever I want. I'm going to call this um, UI demo. And right away, I'm going to go ahead and attach it to an object in the hierarchy. So I am going to add an empty game object. So I'm going to say create empty. And I'm just going to call this UI script. And I'm going to go ahead and drag that to the script. All right, so let's take a peek at the script. I'm going to double click, and it'll take me into Visual Studio. Once we're there, I can delete the start and update method since we won't be using them. And since we're using the Text Mesh Pro UI elements, I need to add a directive at the top. So up here, I'm going to type using TM Pro. 
And then in the class, I need to add two object variables to connect to the elements in Unity. The first one will be for the text field. And for that, I'm doing public text mesh pro UGUI. If you've used legacy text in the past, this would be the replacement for the plain old text object. And I'm going to call this output. Then I need to add a link to the input field. For that, I use TMP underscore input field, and I'll call this username. I'll also create a custom method to hold the code that the button will run when clicked on. I'm going to call it button demo. And then I need an open close curly brace. And I can put the code I want to run when the button runs inside of this. In this case, I want the text of the text field output to be set to whatever the person enters in username. To do that, I will type output dot text. That's accessing the text property of output. I'm assigning that to username.txt. So just like assigning a variable a value, it's taking what the text is in the input field username and it puts it into the text of output. I'm going to save this. Let's go to Unity, connect it up, and try it out. To connect the button to the script, I'll select the button. I can do that in the scene or in the hierarchy. And over in the inspector, if I scroll down, there's a section that shows on click. I'll click plus to add a new action. And notice this first thing says none object. I need to attach the object that holds the script to this. I can't just drag the script itself over and have it work. It needs to be an object that this script is attached to. I've attached it to this UI script, so I can click and drag it over to this spot. Alternately, if the dragging thing doesn't work very well for you, there is this circle. I can click on it, and I can go to my scene, find UI script, and select it. Then I need to choose the method and the function that to run. So here it says no function. I'm going to click on that and select my class name, which is UI demo and the method that I wrote. And in this case, I called it button demo. So when I click on the button, it should run from this script, the button demo. I also need to connect up the text and the input field. To do that, I click on the UI script in the hierarchy. And notice in the inspector, there are two spots that say none. So it's looking for a text mesh pro UGUI, which is the text field and an input field. And I'm going to drag them over from my hierarchy. So output will go into output and the username entry will go into this input field. Once again, there is a little target here. If I'd like to click on it and select from the scene as well, I could do it here. Okay, so now that those are connected up, let's try it out. I'm going to hit play. So I should be able to enter some text, let's say a name, and click it, and it changes the text to whatever is entered in the input field. If I hit stop, I can also add more things to this if I'd like. So instead of just having the text go directly there, I could add something like a small greeting. Like hello there, and concatenate that in there. So now it should say hello there and whatever name they enter. I saved it, jump back to Unity. Now when I hit play, I should be able to enter a name. It'll say hello there, Jack. The other thing I might want to do is not have it say new text right when this starts. So if I wanted to, I could go to the output field and over here I could just delete that out. So when I hit play, it has nothing there. And when I hit click me, it shows up. So that is a simple way to program Text Mesh Pro text, input field, and run it with a button. If you found this helpful, please like this video and check out my channel for other Unity and programming tips. Thanks for watching.